Hey friends, Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper here, and it's been a while since I've done a lettering video, but I recently ran into a friend who is trying to do brush calligraphy, but is having a hard time moving from doing individual letters to connecting letters. So I'm going to share a little bit about how I learned to connect letters and go from there. Um, you might be practicing how to do individual letters and putting all the pieces together. And I have a couple videos about all the different modifications that I do for various letters and modern calligraphy styles. So check that out. I call it my letter archive. But then how do you put them together? So this is how I learned myself to put them together and a couple of things to keep in mind when you practice calligraphy on your own. Today I'm using an Artline Sticks a brush pen, a Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen, small, and then the paper that I'm using is, I think it's a HP Premium Choice 32 pound paper, which is a really a nice smooth paper that keeps my brush tips from fraying and doesn't bleed through very much either. I will link all those things down below. So when you learn calligraphy, I think a lot of people think of it as like handwriting or cursive. So when you're writing in cursive, I don't know if I can even do it anymore because I'm so used to lettering, but a lot of people think of cursive as a single line and it streamlines all of your strokes into one stroke across. But if you're watching carefully, because I've been lettering so long now, I pick up my pen quite a bit. And that's the one thing that I have to tell people and remind people is that calligraphy, you pick up your pen constantly. And so connecting letters, that's important to know because you're not always going to be doing one fluid stroke for all of your letters. And then the other piece, if you look at different individual letters, they have an entrance stroke. So if I do an A, there's an entrance stroke, the actual letter itself, and then, you know, the exit stroke. And when I started connecting them together, I imagined that all of those strokes hit the same part of the letter. So the exit stroke coming up about midline, right? And then the entrance stroke about the same. So if you see the connection points, hitting right on the mid line and that's when I'll pick up my pen whenever these exit strokes or entrance strokes happen. So to show you what I mean uh, I'm going to use this. So when you look at writing or drawing letters this is the the top of the line, this is the baseline and this middle line is the x height or just a midline. and so I'm going to try to put all of the entrance and exit strokes about the same place. So I'll do the word uh, love real fast. I'll do... And then I'll stop here. I'll, I'll bring the exit stroke up to this midline. And then I'll do the O. Whoops. And then I'll stop it about the midline. Just ignore my, my shaky letters here right? Exit stroke right at the midline. So when I keep practicing this way, then I know that they're all going to connect somehow uh, near the same spot until I get comfortable enough with it that I can vary the connections in different ways. And then it becomes a little easier to connect them across. So I'll do resist, right? So we'll do the R... And, you know, typical copper plate exit strokes are much more unified or in terms of um, consistency. They're very much rounded and they look very precise. Modern calligraphy gives you the permission to not be precise. So that's why I do it. Right. So using that trick helps me 
uh, connect my letters and then eventually it becomes a little bit more natural. But remember, you saw that I stopped every single letter and sometimes multiple times per letter. So keep that in mind because you don't have to do it all in one stroke and actually you shouldn't because um, it doesn't look good and it makes the movement kind of awkward. So that's my tip. Hopefully this helps as you're starting on your journey or continuing on your journey of brush calligraphy. Let me know how it works for you or if it still doesn't, what questions you might have in the comments below and I'll try to address it in a future video. I'm trying to get back into doing lettering videos. So let me know and if you like it, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.